Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about nail biting, how to fix it with orthodontics. So nail biting is one of those things that if you are a really chronic nail biter, we will see it in your dentition, we will see it in your occlusion, we'll see it in your bite, it will actually start to damage your bite, your teeth, and other things. And I can spot this habit a mile away, basically, on a patient um, by looking at their teeth. A nail biting habit looks different than a lip biting habit. It presents different than a thumb sucking habit. So the teeth and the, the bite and everything lay a certain way. And it depends on how chronically you're, you're biting your nails. And there's two different types of nail biting habits. There's nail biting themselves. You know, I'm talking about the nails. These are my nails yesterday. They look pretty good, huh? Um, and there's also the cuticles. And the cuticles aren't going to do as much damage as the nail. I mean, it's, it's more unhealthy for your body. But the nails themselves are hard and they will actually damage your teeth and bite. So I have actually dealt with this firsthand, not me, because I am not at all interested. I think nails are disgusting to bite. But for some reason, everyone in my family likes to bite their nails or cuticles or thick, stick things in their mouth. So, I mean, oral fixation, Freud said that it's just one of those things. So um, both my kids and my husband, <laughs> they, they like to stick their fingers in their mouths. So um, luckily, we got rid of that habit for my kids. At least I had control over theirs. So for them, it started around six or seven um, and definitely I could see it affected their occlusion. So for my son, I, I handled it a little bit different than my daughter. So for the son, we did sports tape and Mavala Stop. We started off with a Mavala Stop, which you can get on Amazon. It's that really, really bitter nail polish that you can paint on the fingers and the nails, and it doesn't wash off. It's, it's basically like nail polish. There's no way they can take it off. It'll wear off over time. And the problem is, and it works really, really well, but the problem is, is that for him, this ended up backfiring because he was just a smart kid. He was like, well, if you're going to paint this stuff on my fingers, it's going to make my food taste bad when I stick it in my mouth. Um, I'm just not going to eat. So it was about maybe seven or eight and maybe six, I don't know, somewhere in there, L lower grade school. And he just basically stopped eating at school. So we'd hear from his teachers, but he's not eating his lunch. And then we took him to the pediatrician. They're like, he's losing so much weight. And he was already super skinny. They're like, nope. <laughs> you got to find another way. So that was that. Then we met on to, this worked out really, really well. If you go to like CVS or Rite Aid or Walmart or whatever, Target, you can buy that, you know, that sports tape that athletes stick on their bodies. You always see them, you know, like runners and stuff. But you can buy like a thinner gauge of it. I don't know if it's a gauge, but the thinner width. Um, you don't have to buy like the two inch or the three inch. You can buy like the one inch or the half inch. I don't know. Whatever the smallest one is, it might be one inch. Um, in bright colors, fun colors, you know, purples and pinks and, you know, oranges and stuff. And we wrapped his fingers, you know, um, he'd take a bath, you know, and at night and in the morning we would, uh, we might've done it after his bath. We wrapped his fingers. It wasn't tight. It was just basically sticky enough that he couldn't pull it off, you know, easily, but it was just, his fingers were wrapped. Um, so he could still write and do everything and play and they'd be a little dirty when he came home, but it just changed the texture so he didn't have that so he didn't want to put his fingers in his mouth and we did it for and it was cool like his friends thought it was cool and his teachers thought it was cool and we told the teachers what it was you know so they knew maybe did it for a month or so it pretty much went away and then also just addressing the why behind the nail biting when when is he nail biting you know why is he nail biting nail biting is happening often because the kids are nervous or stressed out um for him it was boredom in class like he was at a public school and it was just too easy for him. So we managed to have the teacher bump up his workload, um, do some independent products, projects, harder math, things like that. And then the nail biting went away. And he's, a, he's 16 now, so no problems with nails anymore. Um, but yeah, that's how we managed it. But I definitely see cases in my orthodontic consulting business where it's really wrecking the, the dentition and it's wrecking the occlusion. And um, honestly, in terms of orthodontics, I mean, you can put in a a crib but they can still bite their nails it doesn't really block it then the crib is better for tongue thumb sucking finger sucking and tongue thrusting it's not going to really work for nails um honestly the best way to do it is is invisalign i mean the invisalign first invisalign product i mean braces they can still bite their nails and it often breaks the brackets so i usually prefer the invisalign just having the invisalign over it is something that they can bite down on and, it, and it's it's a habit and it's something that's in their mouth and they often just fixate on that and not their nails and it covers the teeth and protects them so that's my preference it usually goes right away but anyways and of course you know if it's a younger kid you can do stickers and positive reinforcement and rewards i mean um, with my daughter, we do nail, yeah, she did do nail biting, 
about the same age as my son. I don't know why she was doing it, but uh, we started doing manicures, um, <laughs> kitty manicures. I mean, luckily where I went to get my nails done, they would do kids for $5 if you brought them in. Same time that you had like a, a big manicure or pedicure, you know, and she'd bring her headphones and her iPad and, and they would paint her nails all pretty, you know, and rainbows and, you know, and flowers or whatever she got to pick. And she didn't want to bite those because she wanted to show her friends how cool her nails were. Um, and that went away, you know? Of course, now she's 13 and she loves getting her nails done. Um, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> but it's a lot more expensive. Not that often. But um, yeah, it really, really worked. So, I mean, you can go find a cheaper nail salon that will do kitty manicures. They don't have to do like the cuticles or shape or file them. They can just paint them. It's just painting only. Find out what it is, just paint and design only. Usually five, ten dollars on kids. You don't have to do the toes. You can just do the fingers. But on girls, works magically. All right, thanks so much.